Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, this video is going to be about uh, source ground. Source ground is uh, kind of how it sounds. The um, CT that picks up the, the source ground is, is on the ground bus. Um, it's different from a residual ground in that uh, there's only one signal going to the uh, breaker or the trip unit that, that's going to trip the breaker. It doesn't compare anything. It doesn't add up anything. It, if there's uh, current running on the ground bus, uh, it'll trip uh, at a certain level, depending on what you set it at. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw a little system here and show you how it is implemented in the field. All right. So here we have our uh, <coughs> four-wire system here. Um, here we have a transformer. Uh, we have A phase running through a circuit breaker, B phase running through a circuit breaker, and C phase running through a circuit breaker. Um, it's a delta to y transformer, so we got our neutral coming out. This is the uh, neutral bonding jumper, our main bonding jumper, uh, and um, this is our uh, circuit breaker right here, our main circuit breaker. So how the source ground would work is you would have, in the field, you would have a, a ground, what we call ground CT, um, right here. Okay, um, now let's go through the scenario of uh, how it would trip on a single phase load. So um, say you had a single phase load running on C phase. Let's draw that out here. So it's running, say this is our load, right? And it's single phase, so it's going to return back on the neutral. So our current is going to go through the load and then out on the neutral. Now, um, say there was a ground fault um, on uh, this load here. So what would happen is it would go to ground, and the current was always going to return to the source. The source here is going to be the, um, the transformer. So if there was a ground fault um, on our load, the current would come back this way through ground. Now this is ground. It would, it would come through ground and come up on the um, ground bar here and then go back to our transformer. So that's how the current would travel. It would go like this, come up here. And our, new, our ground uh, CT would pick it up and, the, and this ground CT is wired to the breaker and the breaker would trip. Okay. Now if there wasn't uh, a ground fault here. The current will just continue to run on the neutral here, and it and it would it wouldn't go down. It doesn't go down to ground. It goes back to the uh, core of the transformer. It goes back to the source. Um, so that's how that's how it would return. Same thing with a uh, three phase load. You you have a three phase load. Uh, there would be no current returning back on the neutral in a three phase load. But if there was a fault, it would return to ground and um, it would come up on this ground bar here and go back to the transformer. Now, with that explained, um, it is very important to keep in mind that the, the system can't be grounded anywhere else in, uh, besides where you have the main bonding jumper here with the ground um, CT on it because if it's grounded right here, for example, right here, if there, say that it's actually grounded here, and then you have a ground fault right here, going to ground, uh, it would come to ground here, come back up, and then it would bypass this the, this ground CT, and it would run all the way back to the transformer without you without the system even knowing that there was a ground fault. I mean, obviously you might have a, a surge on phase A if it's a big ground fault, um, and it might trip on something else. But uh, you want it to trip on the ground fault. That, that, that's the purpose of this ground CT right here in the source ground scheme. Otherwise, the system is pointless. So uh, one way to check for that is um, you're going to want to disconnect this um, neutral uh, bonding jumper link in here and do an insulation resistance between the neutral and ground. And um, like in residual ground fault, you're going to want to make sure that there's that the system is not grounded uh, on this side of the um, neutral here. Now, um, as mentioned before, it, it could be XO on the transformer, which is the neutral. It could be a uh, jump to the frame, uh, and you're going to want to make sure that if that's what if that's how they installed, and that's the case, then it's not some other um, uh, ground bonding over on this side of the system. 
you can actually you can actually take those grounding straps off on XL, and that's that's what uh, I recommend you do. So uh, that source ground. If you have any questions, um, feel free to post and please subscribe. Thanks.